So it's our only full day in Iceland. I've already kind of lost us some of it because I slept a little bit late. Right now we're making breakfast from the groceries that we bought yesterday. And then after breakfast, we are going to uh, the church that looks like it's from Skyrim. And then after that, we're going to figure out our day. All right, so we're on our way to Hallgrimskirkja. That's this huge church in Reykjavik. Uh, right near where we're staying, actually. It's actually closing in less than an hour, so we're trying to make it quickly. But there's this huge tower on top that's not gonna close. And apparently you can see 360 degrees around Reykjavik, which is pretty cool, so we're gonna go check it out. Today it's a little bit colder, but at least it's not raining. So, it's to rain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is our last day in Iceland and everywhere else is gonna be a lot warmer, so. We're looking forward to that, but it is supposed to rain later. Donia is going to give us a little bit of history on the church. Well, I don't know much, but it took 41 years to build. It started, I think, 1940 something, ended in 1986. It's based off of a church in Copenhagen. The spire is really high because they were trying to compete with this Catholic church in Iceland. They wanted their church to be higher than the Catholic church. And there's a statue of Leif Erikson outside, and he found America. the apartment because we need to charge our devices a little bit and also because we need to clean up we're leaving at like 4 4 30 in the morning tomorrow the bus is taking us to the airport we're flying to Amsterdam we're also trying to find a restaurant for tonight because we're really trying to eat some weird stuff last night we went and had pizza which was great but we want to have real Icelandic food again tonight like we did for lunch yesterday and now here's another thing in that same kind of idea. A lot of you who know me know that I've never eaten meat before, but I actually think that on this trip I want to try the kind of traditional foods of all the places we're going. So I'm excited. Donia's telling me about these places that have whale steak, reindeer burgers, puffin. I think I could try a little piece. My mom will probably kill me, but I know that if I eat a lot of it I could probably get sick. Um, so if I eat a little piece, I should be okay. And I just want to try it because it's something I've never tried before, um, meat in general and these kinds of meat in particular, I'm not going to have easy access to in the future. So I definitely want to make the effort to like, at least go for it while I'm here. So actually we're going to go to this museum, the Phalological Museum. Basically it's the Icelandic Penis Museum. Are we excited? Yes. It was recommended to us originally by Nataka. Thank you, Nataka, if you're watching. It's closing in about an hour, but it's just down the long street, so we're gonna go check it out, and then we're gonna go have some dinner. I think that this video is gonna get flagged on YouTube for like sexual content. Donia thinks. I think he's gonna get a lot of views. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. Can't compete. Oh wait, there's a sperm whale. I think that's ironic. So what I think they've done here is they took the Icelandic handball team that won the silver medal in Beijing. They've like made replicas of all of their. <laughs> Yeah. So we're on our way to dinner now. 
Donia found a place where we're gonna eat. What are we gonna eat? Some crazy okay. things. Well, I'm having a reindeer burger, I've decided. Okay. And we're gonna split a shark appetizer. Okay, and I'm gonna try a little um. bit of the reindeer burger, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Dried cod with this butter. What's in the jar? Um, shark is in the jar. Should I do it? Okay, whatever. I'll do it. I'll do it. Fermented shark. <laughs> it's like so firm and you don't taste anything and then it's like a wave of like, it's like kind of spicy but not really. It kind of tastes like wasabi. I know, I saw that. It tastes like a much weaker version of wasabi. And you're right, it's firm, but then you just taste it after a little bit. It's not a bad one. You can finish it. Oh well. Danny, what are you doing? I'm scraping off my knife to clean it to cut off Ray a piece of reindeer. I don't know how to do this. Do you want me to just like drop it off for you? Should I just go for it? Yeah. Chew it? Yes, chew it. You don't like it? It's fine. I don't know. Once again, it's like not something I'd, I'd pick for myself. I don't know what to do because I feel like I've been living a lie my whole life. Everyone's been telling me that I'm like missing out or whatever. It didn't taste like anything. I know there's like a pretty anticlimactic reaction. That's because it's like it's a pretty anticlimactic event. We finished our dinner. Two hour long dinner. It was, it was a two hour long dinner. But that was mostly because they forgot our dessert and they were super nice about it. They were. And they made were. us feel really bad because yeah. they were really cute and Icelandic about it. But it was probably our most traditional meal we ate here. Mm -hmm. We tried a lot of mm -hmm. things. Yeah. I'm excited about trying meat for the first time. I'll admit that it was a little bit <laughs> underwhelming. It didn't really taste like anything. What I was saying before is I've just been told kind of my whole life that I'm missing out on something so kind of like important and it was not life-changing but there's more trip for me to try more things on definitely gonna try sausage in Germany I will say that the the shark was really I thought it was really interesting it was I did not like shark. Donnie did not like the shark it tasted like a weaker version of wasabi it was so bad it wasn't so bad it was not but it was not very good we couldn't commit to trying puffin this time, but next time. we'll save that for the next trip. Whale also. Whale too. Oh. There was a whale in a jar that we that we <laughs> stayed away from. Yeah. We're going home now. It's about 11.30. As you can see, once again, light outside. super light outside. But we have to get up at around 3, three. or 4. And Ray's three. not going to wake up. Because our bus is taking us early, early to the airport and we're flying to Amsterdam. So we're gonna have to leave it there for now, and we'll see you see tomorrow. You tomorrow.